because I got to get to the coin, okay? I'm a Capricorn, so I got to get to the money, okay? Give me my money, okay? <laughs> channel i am portia lachey i'm an entrepreneur i'm a wife i'm a mom all the above like child i wear so many hats i do so many things because i gotta get to the coin okay i'm a capricorn so i gotta get to the money okay give me my money okay <laughs> I just want to welcome you guys to my channel i'm going to be putting more videos up here y'all just please bear with me uh just like i said i do a lot of things so just please bear with me okay today i just wanted to come on here there has been a lot of things that god has been talking to me about and i wanted to share them with you guys as y'all know i am an entrepreneur well now you know that i'm an entrepreneur with being an entrepreneur you have to be a little delulu sometimes okay you have to be a, delu a little delulu and you have to have faith that's just it like you have to have faith but with you having that faith you know you go through things and you have your your dark days you have your bad days you have your up days you have your down days it's it's a whirlwind of emotions when you are an entrepreneur anybody that's trying to you know start your own business whether you're working a nine to five right now i'm just going to let you know that it is not easy so that's that on that topic today is that god will give you a story a few weeks ago um i was just kind of thinking about you know everything that I've been through I I don't want to go into too much detail um but I've had a lot of things happen to me good and bad and I feel like the the good kind of outweighs the bad but the bad is bad <laughs> all in all I'm blessed I'm still here I have a testimony I have a story and God gave it to me <laughs> I feel like sometimes you know things happen and you know god puts you in places you have to adapt okay when you're trying to level up when you're trying to get in a, a a groove of things in life you have to go through something in order to do those things that means that you need to trust god okay your time will come okay god will give you a story like the title says, God will give you a story and he will make sure that everything that you're going through is for a purpose. You can't give up <laughs> with the devil. You know, you kind of get like stuff. It's like, you know, things just come at you fast. God will give you something, but he won't give it to you right then and there. Like you, he wants you to uh, appreciate the things that you're getting. You got to go through the work. You got to do your due diligence and and make sure that you are doing the right thing and you know staying on your path i don't want to sound too preachy because i am the last person that didn't be so preachy <laughs> i've been through stuff and i'm a human being just like everybody else i go through my things but i still trust god god does not care who he uses. <laughs> he doesn't care who he uses matter of fact God will use those people who you least expect to get the message across. God will use those people that are not qualified to be qualified. He will put them in posi positions to be qualified. You may feel like, oh, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not a person that can do this or whatever. And it, it could be anything, anything that, you know, you wanted to do and you kind of like shied away from it and you didn't really do it or didn't put your mind to it or didn't didn't really get into it because you felt like it wasn't for you god will set it up to where you will be able to do those things and shine god will give you the insight to shine that's the the most beautiful thing about god just like how we manifest things and you know all that that is 
a form of just praying to God. So, you know, with staying on your path, the path is not easy. God gives us the strength though. Sometimes, and if you don't have the strength, God will, you have to pray to God to get that strength. Me, you know, being an entrepreneur, I have went through ups and downs, still going through ups and downs, still not where I want to be, but I'm still trusting God. I'm still asking God to make sure that I get to where I need to be. And that's just that on that. All right. So I had to change locations. So sorry about that. Um, the lightning here is not really all that good. So just bear with me. But hopefully you just hear the message and don't worry about the appearance because it is what it is. Like I was saying, yeah. So, you know, we go through things. Everything is uh, for a purpose, though. Like, for instance, you know, I even like your challenges can, you know, be testimonies to a good thing. Like I was going to say, for instance, I keep getting into these accidents. Don't know why I prayed and asked God, like, you know, please, God. And this actually has kind of hindered me from like driving a lot. Like I have so, oh my God, my driving anxiety is like through the roof. If it wasn't for my husband, you know, helping me through it and, you know, trying to kind of coach me, I don't know what I would do. And prayer, <laughs> prayer works. I still get driving anxiety, but you're kind of loosening up a little bit. I keep getting into these accidents, but I'm never, never at fault. Like I'm never at fault. Like it's always the other person. I'm not doing anything out of the norm. I'm not driving crazy. Like, when I do get into these accidents, I get a better car like each time. <laughs> so thank you, Jesus. So I can't even really be mad at the fact that, you know, I'm getting into these accidents and all this stuff is happening. You just kind of got to take the, the bad for the good, so to speak. All right. So I'm going to share this scripture with you guys that really touched my heart. So it says, um, this is Romans 8, 28. It says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. So, you know, that, that verse right there, it just kind of spoke to me because it's so true in life. Like you got to go through stuff. You there, it literally, it says that, you know, there is a purpose for this, you know, even your bad things. Like, let's say, you know, you get evicted. But even with you being evicted, you know, God is giving you a story like you can't give up within all the things that you're going through. You can't give up. I've lost jobs. <laughs> I've quit jobs. I've done things that probably wasn't the best decision for me. But at the end of the day, it came out to be a good thing. You know what I'm saying? It came out to be a good thing. It came out to be something that, you know, um, I really got to say that I'm thankful that I went through those things because it, it actually molded me into the person that I am today. I'm still trying to get everything together and I'm still, you know, on my grind. I'm still trying to make the money that I want to make. But at the same time, God is working. Like he is working every single time that I doubt, I have to come back. You, you gotta, sometimes when you doubt, and you say, oh, God is not doing this for me. And, you know, he's th this is not helping. Like, I'm I'm just like at a standstill right now. Like, nothing is, is working for me. You got to pull yourself back. You got to really pull yourself back and actually look at where how far you've come. That's why they tell you don't give up. And I'm not trying to, like I said, I'm not trying to sound too preachy. I'm not even trying to, um, like, convince you. Everybody has their own free will. They can do whatever they want to do. But at the end of the day, you don't have to, to worry because God will show up. God will show up and he will show out. Sometimes, you know, we get through, we go through things and it's like, you know, when is, when is it going to be my turn? When I'm going to have that happiness? And, you know, when am I going to actually be able to do the things that I want to do within God? So actually be feel like I'm actually blessed. But then when you really think about it, it's like you are blessed. You woke up. That is a blessing. It's the little things that happen in your life. And you're like, you don't, you take those little things for granted. God will give you a story 
and he that store will be your platform for instance you know doing this just with the youtube and everything you just don't know like i wasn't even uh, able to afford a camera god god has blessed me so much i have gotten like twenty thousand dollars and thirty thousand dollars here and i've i've gotten like so many like random blessings and it put me in a position to where i could afford those things that i wanted or that i needed to even get started on my journey i, I didn't have anything like i literally came from nothing you know i'm i'm not the richest person in the world and i ain't the, i ain't gonna say i'm the brokest person in the world i'm gonna say that i'm just i'm still moving with the ropes okay what people don't realize is that you have so little and then you'll get up to a place where you got a lot and then you you can go back to a place you can have it all and you have to learn because sometimes you know you got to learn you got to learn your lesson i feel like you know nowadays i'm learning my lesson i was broke two kids at the time you know not really in the best situation not living in the best conditions and you know i had to stay with people i didn't i have had to do so many things to get where to where i am today i've i had a car then lost the car then you know like right out of high school i, I had my first daughter like it was i struggled like i really really struggled and it really, really set the tone that, you know, I really got to just put my faith in God. I can't, I cannot let my situation determine what can happen to me, you know, in the future. When, when you're in the now, you can't live for the now. You have to live for the future. They say to live for the now. On certain things, you do have to live for the now. But on most things, you got to live for the future because you got to think about everything, every choice that you make it has to have a purpose so portia lachey is portia is my real name but lachey comes from um it's it's something that spoke to me when i you know i was going through my darkest times and it's actually supposed to lachey actually stands for let every choice help existence like nobody knew that <laughs> I didn't just wake up one day and say, oh, this is who I want my name to be. I actually made, I set this in my name. And just even like with my logo for my name, my um, stage name, because I do music and, you know, um, I songwrite and I do all of that too. And I model, like even with the the setting for that, I used, um, the, with the logo, I put a diamond. I tell people all the time, embrace your diamond. And what I mean by that is, you know, how they make the diamond. The, not, the diamond goes under pressure, okay? The diamond goes under pressure. You know, they it either goes through, like, they do, like, their lab work or whatever to make it the beautiful ring or, you know, whatever it is. They make it into, they. it has to go through something. That diamond literally goes through a rough patch, it's being molded into something so beautiful. Like, you know, radiates the beauty, you know? So that's kind of like what I put on my life. That's the reason why I, I chose the name Lachey. Um, you know, not just to be typical. I feel like that name is kind of com uh, common, but um, I didn't do it for the purpose of, you know, it sounding good. I did it because that's literally what I'm doing. I have to let every choice that I make, you know, be for my purpose. So if I make, you know, bad decisions or whatever, I have to go back, rethink my decisions and learn from my lessons. But just like I have it tattooed on me, um, it says, um, and this is what Rihanna had on her too. Now I did kind of like go off of her cause I was like, you know what? I want, I want that tattoo. I ain't trying to copy off nobody or nothing like that. But it, that is, that saying is literally my life. And it says, um, never a failure, always a lesson. And that's so true to my life. Like I have made some mistakes. Okay. 
mistakes in my life. I have been with people I shouldn't have been with. I have gone places to where I sh- I should have not been. I have done things that I should have not done. I have been through things, okay? I have been through a lot of things and God has just can, been working on me, child. Working, working, working. And I'm still, you know, I'm not perfect and I still have, you know, my days that I do have to, you know, kind of recollect, try to get it together. But, you know, I um, I think, you know, for the most part, I am growing up. I am 34 years old. So, you know, hey, it's time to grow up. It's time to, you know, think about these choices that I'm making now. And I have kids. I have three kids. So it's like, you know, and I'm married. Like, it's certain things that I'm just not going to do anymore. I'm not going to. I'm not going to put myself in positions to lose what I have. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, sometimes, you know, we, we get setbacks and we think about like, oh, well, you know, maybe we should, um, you know, just give up. It's easy to give up, but you know what? It's harder either way. You're going to give up and that's going to be hard. You're going to keep going. That's going to be hard. Pick your struggle. You see what I'm saying? Pick your struggle. Pick your struggle and actually ask God how to deal with what you're going through. So, you know, just just make sure that you stay in your right mind. You know, it's hard to do that. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I ain't going to sit up here and flex and act like I'm perfect or any of that. Like, I have my days. I have my down days. I have days where I just don't want to do it. Okay. I have my days to where I'm like, you know what? I need a mental break. I tell people this all the time. It is okay to take a mental day. Okay. Like it is okay to rest because as much as, you know, even myself, like I'm always on the go. I'm always doing something. I'm always creating something. I, I literally, my mind is a constant whirlwind of ideas i literally i keep my phone by my bed because at night it could be like three o'clock in the morning it could be four o'clock in the morning five o'clock in the morning i will have like these random like oh i got an idea i got an idea (laughs) so i have to keep something by me to like write it down you know what i'm saying and that has helped me so much and then it's like you know but you got to implement it at some times like this, even me talking to y'all right now, this, this was literally in my notes, create a YouTube. And you know, when God speaks to me, I write it down. I go directly to my phone. I got my phone right here. I'm like, write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down and write it down with intention. When you, my word for the year, I have a friend, my, my best friend. Um, well, I call him my brother because he like my brother. He um came up with um, you know, every year you focus on a word. Like there's a every every year you have a word that you kind of like purpose your life around. And he asked me, you know you know, to join in with him. Cause you know, he has a lot of other friends that does it too. And I said, well, yeah, I'm going to join in. So, um, my word is, um, uh, for this year is intention. So everything that I do has to be with intention. My intention for me, even speaking to you guys today and even putting out this YouTube video is solely because I want to touch people. I want to be able to touch somebody in a way in their heart and let them know that they are not alone. I, it has been so many times where, you know, God has put things on my heart to say to people and I kind of like shy away from, them, you know, cause I'm just like, no, I don't want to say this. And, you know, they might take it the wrong way. I might, they might not receive it how I want them to receive it. You just have to make sure that you're doing everything with a purpose. And, you know, sometimes your purpose at that time might be a certain thing, but then it may change over time. You know what I'm saying? Like I, my purpose was to, um, you know, get started into entrepreneurship and, you know, fully just say, Hey, I'm going to do it. And I'm just going to 
jump into it like that. But I did, I had a plan, but my plan didn't go as planned. And so I had to go back, recalculate. I had to work. And luckily it actually, even, even with me losing, well, not losing that job, but me quitting that job, I was able to regain back my sanity. Like I was always at work. I couldn't be with my kids. I couldn't do things that I wanted to do. So I would always um, just kind of go back and think about that. Like, you know, why did I just up? Like, I'm crazy. Why am I, why am I doing that? I'm making so much money. Like I am a lunatic. Like what? <laughs> but it was a good thing I did it because it's like, you know, I learned the lesson. I learned the lesson and I was able to, you know, trust in God, you know, even through my darkest days when I was making no money. Cause it was like, after I quit, I, the money was just rolling in. It was rolling in, rolling in, rolling in. And then, you know, that's so, it's so crazy because like literally, okay. So I had been at the job that I was at for six plus years. And then I was at, um, I was living in this, I was renting a house and the house that, you know, um, I was renting, it was, you know, by the owner and the owner just literally like literally the month, <laughs> the month after, you know, I quit and everything, I'm thinking everything going to be good. I'm, you know, I'm making all this money. They told me I had to get out of the house. Like what? <laughs> What are you saying? I had been there for six years at, at the, the house I was at. So I'm like, are you serious? Like I was planning on, you know, I wanted to eventually buy a house. My credit was not all that good. But, you know, I, I noticed that even after I quit, things started to go good. Even in the midst of me, you know, losing my, you know, uh, well, I'm, I keep saying losing, but I didn't really lose my job. But quitting my job um even in the midst of me quitting my job you know my credit score went up you know i was able to get credit cards i was able to do things that i never had been to do, able to do before even though i was making all this money you know before i still was not able to do the, some of the things that i did when i actually quit so it was like you know god put that in my heart you know for some reason you know, I had to get away from that toxic environment and I had to do things that were, you know, I had to fulfill my purpose. And so, you know, we can, people can look at it as a mistake. They can say, oh, you shouldn't have left. You are crazy. Like people will break you down, honey. That's, that's another story. But, um, yeah, I just going through all of that. Okay. I quit my job and then finally, you know, I'm making money, but then they hit me with a, oh, you got to move and you got 30 days to move. What? <laughs> so, but God is always, he is always there and he comes right on time. And it was so crazy because like right after that, you know, um, that was the same year I created my, uh, my business, the Eminent Solutions. Um, make sure y'all check that out. I'm going to actually link that in the bio. Um, so make sure y'all check check out my businesses. I'm a digital creator and everything else. And I had a boutique at the time, but I ended up closing that. And we'll go into that in another video. I made sure that, you know, I kept in the mindset that this is happening for a reason. It's not, it's not because, you know, for, you know, it's a purpose. It's, it's a purpose. It's not just because it's, it's an actual purpose is the reason why this is happening because it's just so ironic that I have literally been here for six years and then all of a sudden y'all want to just kick me out now. So, and like my rent was paid on time and the rent was cheap, child, but it was like, whatever. So you got to move on, right? So, okay. So 30 days later, we end up finding a house, got us a house and we moved right in and it was like, you know, we were qualified. Like I was able to get my credit about the trenches, get your credit up about the trenches because it is life changing. I've literally generated uh, income off of my credit. So yeah, get in with your girl. <laughs> I don't know. It's just 
all I'm going to say is y'all just pray and don't look at everything, you know, as a bad thing. Those good things, they happen and it's good. And it's, you know, at the time it's like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, whatever. But eventually those things die down and you do have bad days. But on your bad day, still remember that God is with you and change your mindset, change your mindset. If you don't take anything else from this video, learn to change your mindset. I, I'm around a lot of people and a lot of people call me up. A lot of people call me up to vent. I, when I tell you I am like an open door like anybody can call me and, and vent and they have, they call me and they vent and they tell me everything. I've literally had people, I don't know what it is about me, but I've had people that I don't even know. Like literally that's how I met my husband. He came and told me all his business on the day I met him. Like, okay. But you know what? I don't judge. I don't judge anybody because I myself am not perfect and I've been through things and I've done things that I, you know, that I shouldn't have not done and that were wrong, even to people. And, you know, I just, I apologize, you know, to those people and, you know, my heart goes out to them and it wasn't intentional. It was just that, you know, at that time I was going through something and, you know, I didn't feel, you know, the the way I should have been feeling, you know, I felt like, you know, I, I had my mental breakdown and it was just a lot of stuff going on. But I just say all that to say, you know, everyone has a story and God gives you that story to create a platform for your existence, you know, whether it's your business, like, if, you know, if you have, you got to be relatable to people because, you know, especially being like an entrepreneur, and I know I keep resorting back to that because that's, you know, that's what I, I can, you know, I relate to. So, um, but just being an entrepreneur, you know, it's like, you know, you have to have a story. God will give you a story for your, you know, for your, your audience. You have to find your tar target audience. And usually when you find your target audience, it goes from your story. Sometimes people, you know, they, they have, they struggle and they're like, oh, I don't know who am I speaking to? Like speak to the people that are going through the same, that are going through the same thing that you went through or have went through the same thing that you went through and they're just coming out of their, you know, gunk. And, you know, you can be that, that speaking person for them. You can be that, that person that they look up to and that they, um, say, you know what, well, I'm not alone because she went through it or he went through it. So it's like, you have to make sure that you put your story. You don't have to tell everybody your business. You don't, you don't have to do that. You don't have to tell everybody your business, but the main thing, the main point in your um, life that has happened and has gotten you to where you are today, tell that story. You know what I'm saying? Tell that story because sometimes you don't know who it may touch. You know, I, I have, you know, I hold back a lot of information because I just don't want people in my business. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like this YouTube thing, I had to get used to this because <laughs> I was like, I don't want everybody in my business and everything, but I had to put on my, first of all, I'm, I'm a business woman, period. I, whatever feelings I got, it got to go out the door because, and it's not even just for the money. You know, I, I don't, I'm not going to say I do things. I mean, I, I need to get paid, <laughs> but I don't do things for the money. Like with my credit repair business, I do credit repair because I really, really just like doing credit. I like seeing the results. I like people, people texting me and saying, oh, I got approved for this. Thank you so much. Like people have come up to me and just thank me for being me. You know what I'm saying? They, they thank me for and, and then, you know, I'm not just giving them credit advice. Sometimes people call me for, they don't need, like my clients, some, some of my clients, they will call me and just want to vent about just stuff in their life. And I will sit there and listen because it's not, it's not about being just, um, 
serious all the time. And you know, I had to learn that too. I had to go through things. God taught me a lesson that sometimes, you know, it's not always about being serious. Like sometimes you people just want people. You know what I'm saying? People just want to be around a person who is a real person. Like everything has to be so made up nowadays and it don't even have to be like that. You know what I'm saying? And so I you know, I say all that to say, you know, I'm going to end it kind of close this out because um I just wanted to get on here and I just want to motivate somebody whatever you're thinking about doing do it and do it without regrets if it doesn't work out the first time I promise you it's going to work out the second time or it might not even work out the second time it might not work out the third time it might take you 10 years it might take you 10 years to get where you want to be but guess what you got there you know what I'm saying? You got there. Don't don't let your situation and your mindset that you have when you're down and deep in your darkest hours, don't let that lead you astray from your um your purpose in life. When you sit down and you say, "Okay, this is what I want to do." You come up with a goal. Get a piece of paper. I challenge everybody to do this. Get a piece of paper and write down all your goals. And I, I I suggest that you do it in like increment, like do your short term goals, like what you want to accomplish, like within the maybe 90 days or so, or even in the next six months or so, like do your short term term goals first, then do your, um, do a two year plan, then come back and do a five year plan, do it, you know, go just write a plan up and it don't even have to be about business. It could just be something that you just want to get started in or you're thinking about doing. And, you know, it could be YouTube. It could be a business. It could be anything. Just write it down and, you know, start working towards those things, start speaking life into those things, and then start, you know, doing positive affirmations on those things. So let's, let's say you want to be, um, um, I don't know, say you, you just want to write a book. Okay. Come up with a plan to write that book. Say, okay, you know, I know I want to write this book and then actually stick to your goal, like of the book. I want to drop it from two years from now, because I want some things to happen so I can have something to write about. So two years from now, you set a date, say it's, it's September. You want to put something, you know, two years from now, September on this day. So you set a goal, you put the plan, you say what you're going to write about, what the book is going to be about, who's your target audience for this book. You're going to put all those things and implement it into that thing and well, into that book that you're going to be writing. And once you keep, you know, once you have something to look for, look forward to, you're going to keep, you know, stay on the grounds of, okay, I'm going to make sure I get this done by this day. I have a deadline. Create a deadline for yourself, okay? Because you can't do, I don't care what it is, you can't do anything in this life without a plan. Everything has to be planned. Now, sometimes your plan doesn't go as planned because just like I said before, you know, my life ain't been all squeaky clean and, you know, I had to do some setbacks and rearranging some things and, but always stick to what you are um what you are trying to ac accomplish don't don't just just do stuff on the whim do it with intention and let me know what y'all word you know we the new year is coming up i i haven't came up with my new word for the new year but it's getting close to that time where i need to come up with a word so y'all tell me what y'all word is and you know put it in the comments and you know kind of put some encouraging words out there like i i don't any negative comments on this, on this channel, um, or on this video or wherever, like just leave all that at the dough, the dough, leave it there. Cause I ain't about that. You will get blocked and deleted, boo. <laughs> but yeah, but I don't know. All I can say is that, um, make sure y'all follow and like and subscribe. I'm going to put my, um, my businesses, all that information, the Instagrams and my Facebook, everything. I'm going to link it all down in the um, description. So make sure y'all just check that out. And um, 
you know, just tell me how, you know, this video touched you and, you know, give me some positive feedback and let me know, you know, if you need to share it, share it, you know, with anybody. And, you know, I have an email, I'm going to put it on there. So if you just want to tell you, tell me your story, if you just want somebody to listen, then I'm always open for that. Okay. I'm always open for that. I'm just, like I said, I'm an open door. Like people call me all the time and they just like, they don't even need somebody to just say anything to them about advice. Sometimes people just want to talk, you know, sometimes people just want to, um, to vent and, you know, get out. Cause sometimes we need that as a, as a human being living in this world today, there's a lot of things that go on and, it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. So sometimes we just need somebody to talk to. And, you know, I just want to be, you know, helpful to someone. If that, if this touched you, touched you in any way, and you know, you got something out of this video, just comment down below and just give it a like, and then, you know, follow me for more. Cause I'm going to give more tips and then more motivation videos and things of that nature. So this is only the beginning for me. This is my journey, my YouTube journey. So yeah. All right. I'll see you later.